Zach's Know Your Options, a weekly overview of unique option strategies and ideas designed to help you beat the market no matter which direction it's going. We're going to find out about the attractiveness of options in today's market with Kevin Matris, our option specialist, who's pulled himself off of his sick bed even yeah. to come in here and discuss this with us. What a trooper. I'm telling you. So I'll start at the at the basic uh -huh. beginning here. Why are options attractive in today's market? You know, actually, I think options are always attractive. It, they're always a great alternative, a great investment. But I think more so now, given the hyper volatility in the market over the last several weeks, the last several months, and really the likelihood of this hyper volatility continuing. And uh, you know, it is for this reason that uh, that options are so attractive. And to be quite honest with you. I think that's one of the main reasons why options right now are, are enjoying record amounts of trading volume. In fact, this is the ninth year in a row where we have set a record on trading volume and options, and it's because of this uncertainty and volatility. Well, that's a heck of a streak, right. but I would have thought, for one, that it was because of that volatility that options would be less attractive. You say no. Yeah, I think it's just the opposite. I think that uh, it, you know it has never been easier to be able to protect a long portfolio than now. Uh, plus, it's, very, it's a very inexpensive way to do it. So if let's just say that you have a bunch of stocks in your portfolio that you don't necessarily want to give up, you can write call options against it and you can actually make money by collecting premium uh, on your options if the stock moves sideways or down. Another way to make money uh, and to hedge yourself in case the, the market falls is you can simply just buy put options uh, mm -hmm. on, on your stocks. This way, if the market does go down, if you're expecting a larger correction, if it goes down, you're making money on your put options, and that is also helping you offset the losses on your stocks. Also, too, you can really take a broader perspective and try to hedge yourself against a very broader correction in the market by buying call options on inverse ETFs. Uh, and you can do so very inexpensively. And what's interesting is that you can gear your level of protection uh, to your liking because you can buy call options on a regular ETF, which is just a one-time uh, ETF on the market. It will move commensurately with the market. You can do this on the ultra-short ETFs, which uh, will move twice as much as the, uh, as the market. You can also do it on the 3X ETFs. That's going to give you triple the downside protection against a market's fall. And again, you can do all of this stuff with a very, very small amount of money. And that's another one of the attractive things of the options. You can really protect a large portfolio with a tiny amount of money. Let me ask you this then. Mm -hmm. What happens if the market goes up? Yeah, nice question. Uh, <laughs> but it's fair. If, in fact, the market goes up and you are wrong and it turns out that you really didn't need that insurance after all. So what? It's, it's a very small price to pay for peace of mind and a very, very smart protection against your portfolio. But of course, if the market does go down, you're going to be very happy that you did have that insurance. Uh, but what's interesting is that if the market does go up, uh, I believe that it is, you, you can also buy call options on, on stocks that you believe may go higher. Mm -hmm. So even if the market is struggling, whether the market, you know, blasts off into a brand new bull market, or let's just say that you see pockets of strength, the fact of the matter is there's going to be spectacular stocks all the time. There always is. And I think, you know, being able to take a position in a stock that you like uh, through the use of an option is, is, is a very smart way to go, and here's why. Right now, it kind of seems commonplace to be able to see a stock go up 10% within a couple of days, only to see the stock go down 10% or more yep. just a few days later. So, you know, I, I can understand people's reluctance to get into a stock that they'd really, really like to own because they're so fearful of the kind of risk that they're going to have to take. So you can go in there, buy good quality options with a decent amount of time for 500 bucks, 600 bucks, 700 bucks, under $1,000. You can start staking out a position, and if the market falls apart, you're not going to get hurt. But if it goes up, you're going to really be in a much better position to be able to you know, build on that, uh, that purchase that you want. So what you're saying then is you can have it two ways with options. You can have the protection on the downside mm -hmm. and the less expensive way 
uh, to get in on some new buys on the upside. Yeah, look, if, if the stock disappoints, you are definitely going to lose money on your option, but you may lose just a small portion of it. But even if the stock, you know, collapses and you have to forfeit the entire premium that you paid for the option, the fact of the matter is the amount of money that you will probably have at risk is way less than the amount of money that you would have had at risk had you gotten into the stock itself. But again, you know, if the market went up as expected, you can either sell that option at a fantastic profit or what you really can do is you can exercise that option at the strike price that you purchased. You now have a position at a price that is below the market, right? And you, you now have that stock that you really, really wanted to own in the first place without having to take crazy risk. So you took a very limited risk and it was a very, very manageable way to get back into the market. And like I said, I, I understand people's reluctance to, to sticking their toes back in the water right now. Mm -hmm with what the market has gone through and the fear of what the market may continue to go through in the future. Yeah. But I think right now, trading options is probably one of the smartest ways to trade stocks. So I would say, if you are unfamiliar with options, now is the time to learn about how you can incorporate options in your own portfolio. This is a way of protecting it in case something bad happens. It's also a way to be able to start building a good long position on stocks you'd really like to have without the nutty risk. All right, you can check out other options articles in the options section of our homepage at zax.com if you're not there already. The information you'll find there and in these option videos that we do when we get together with Kevin here uh, on videotape is all giving you information to help you know your options. With Kevin Matris, I'm Terry Ruffalo.